Dear students, I am Ahmad Noman Sadiq. Today we will discuss the very basics of road planning and drawing in topography. So here is our learning outcome. That is, at the end of this video, students would be able to learn number one, how to keep the route along left hand side of the road during route drawing in different situations. Number two, how to move around the roundabout. Number three, what is meant by cutting the roundabout. Number four, what is meant by cutting the corner. And lastly, how to mark at start and stop marker. So let's start. Suppose this is our interactive map and you are at this road. Now, how could you keep your route towards the left hand side of this road? So first of all, you must know the direction of your route. That is the direction of your journey. What does it mean? It simply means that you must know where are you going? In which direction are you moving? Or you must know that whether you are moving from east towards the west or east towards south or east towards north. So always remember one thing that if you are at this point, then on your, then on your right side is east direction. And on the left side, there is west direction. Above is the north direction and towards the downside direction is the north. So always remember about these directions. You must have at least a little bit knowledge about the directions. Now I will show you how to keep your route towards the left hand side if you are moving from east towards west. So here you go. So I will zoom in and I will start my journey from here. So like this, if you are moving from east towards west, so definitely this will be your left hand side of the road. It is actually like you are driving your own car on this road as a routine and definitely you will notice that this is your left side and you will always drive your car along this side of the road. You will never drive your car along this side. So similarly, you, you have to draw your route along this side of the road. So this is very important. Now I will continue my route like this from here. So from here, if you want to move towards the south, so from here, you will move like this, keeping your route in this way. And this will be, this will be your left hand side of the road. If you are moving towards south. So this is very important. And if you do like this, I am simply undoing this and now I will do an illegal maneuver just to clarify the things. So if you move like this, this will be illegal. You are not allowed to do like this because if you are moving in this direction along south, this is not your left hand side. Here it is. This is your left hand side. I will draw here. So this is right. So this will be your left hand side. So if you draw your route along this direction, this is totally illegal and you will simply lose your marks. So please remember this. Similarly, if you are moving straight, then this will be your left hand side direction. But if you are moving towards north, then you have to move like this. You have to move a little bit ahead and then you have to move like this towards north. So if you are moving towards north, this will be your left hand side direction. But if you do like this, like this, 
So this will be illegal because in your daily routine, if you are driving your car, you always do like this. You never drive your car in this direction. So remember, if you are moving from east towards north, so this will be the right maneuver and this is simply illegal. So I am doing it again. So the right maneuver, this will be the right maneuver. So always remember these points that if you are moving from east towards west, then you will keep yourself straight and this will be your left hand side. And if you want to move towards north, then this will be your left hand side. And if you want to move towards south, then along this edge of the road will be your left hand side. So always remember these points. Now we will discuss some other situation. Suppose you are coming from this direction, that is from west. And if you are moving towards north, then this will be the case. And in this way, you will move towards north. So always remember, this is from west to north. And if you are moving from west towards east, then this will be the case. This is your left hand side of the road. And if you are moving from west towards south, then this will be the case. So always remember, you have to keep yourself towards the left hand side of the road. Now the next situation is, if you are coming from north, then this will be your left hand side. And if you want to move towards east, then this will be the case. So remember this as well. So actually, I am showing you each and every situation. And if you are interested to go towards south, then this will be your left hand side. But if you want to move towards west, then in this way, because this is the left hand side if you are moving towards west. You can't do like this, that here and then along this direction. So always remember, you have to move a little bit ahead and then if you want towards west from north. So always remember this as well. So there is a last situation as well. If you are moving from south, so I will show you that as well. So if you are moving from south and if you are interested to go towards west, so this will be your direction. This is your left hand side of the road. And if you want to move towards north, then this will be your left hand side. But if you are interested to go towards east, then this will be the case. So always remember each and every situation. Now I have explained you each and every situation if you are moving from east towards west or north or south, how you have to make your legal maneuver. So always remember this. This is very important. Now our next point is how to move around a roundabout. So this is roundabout and in UK you know that if you are moving around the roundabout you have to move clockwise. So movement around a roundabout in UK is always clockwise. In Europe it is always anti-clockwise. But remember, we are in UK. So you must remember that your maneuver will always be anti, it, it should be clockwise, not anti-clockwise. Now I will show you how. So suppose you are moving here like this. When you reach here at the roundabout, so move like this. So click two or three times. And if you are moving through whole of this roundabout, then this will be the case. You are making actually the U-turn. So if you are making U-turn, you have to do like this. So always remember this. So you have to move clockwise. Now again I am doing, so now I, I will cross this roundabout. But if you want to cross this roundabout, you have to click one, two or three times because TFL always notices that you have seen the roundabout. 
so always click two or three times on this round roundabout so again there is another roundabout so if you want to cross this as well so it will be like this so always remember this as well now i will tell you what is meant by cutting the roundabout so if you are coming from here and you simply go like this it means you have not noticed that this roundabout you have considered this roundabout as a straight line so this is not allowed so tfl says that cutting the roundabout is not allowed and you will definitely lose your marks if you do like this so in this case you have cut the roundabout which is not allowed it is illegal maneuver so what you have to do i will show you like this so you have to click as i i have told you earlier you have to go like this you have to click one or two or three times so always remember this as now our next point is what is meant by cutting the corner so if you are coming from here and you are going like this so you have actually cut this corner which is not allowed it is illegal maneuver so you are not allowed to cut the corner so tfl says how can you do that so actually the real or exact or legal maneuver will be like this so if you are coming from east so go like this so this is legal so this thing this is you have cut the corner which is not allowed now i will show you with another example so if you are coming from this direction and go like this so this is not allowed you have cut the corner so what should you do you should do like this from here this is a legal maneuver so if you do like this it means you have cut the corner so which is not allowed which is illegal so always be very much careful in this regard now we will discuss our last point how to mark at start point that is green marker and at red marker so the thing is if you are here and you are starting you are going to start your journey and if you are doing like this you click here and you have started your journey like this so if you have done like this but if you zoom in if you simply zoom in then there might be the case that this your route is not touching our green marker so i will show that with an example so suppose you have started like this so you have started like this actually you have not zoomed in so if i zoom in then you will see again this is a little bit right but i will show you again with an other example so actually initial two points were right but no i will show you the confusion if you click here at the middle point and you start your journey like this so now i have started my journey it's look very fine here but actually if you zoom in so see the starting point is the starting route point is not touching the green marker so what you should do you must be very much careful otherwise you will definitely lose your marks so what you have to do one thing is just when you start your journey you should you should actually zoom in the map this is one point and the second thing you always try to touch the tip so if you start from the tip tip of this green marker it will be fine so even if you have not zoomed in but you have started from the tip then it will be fine so in this case if you zoom in then you see it's fine no problem at all so remember one point that you have to start your journey from the tip of this marker and uh, if you at the start you zoom in a little bit it will be better for you now similar is the case with the end point i will show you now so here is the case this is your end point if you touch it like this 
then if you zoom in then see where have you touched your final point your final point is actually not touching the red marker so what you should do the thing is you simply you will simply do like this you will have to touch the tip of this marker in that case if you zoom in it will be simply it will be the right touch and your root will definitely touch the red marker so you must remember so one more thing you must remember so here we have concluded actually two things one is at the end you have to touch the tip of this red marker and the last thing is our second thing is you have to zoom in and then touch and that is the end of the video we have covered all the points until next video thank you very much